Hello classy, classy people. How y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your Speed King here at the Speed King Studios. We're here to do the top five distaff runners for this year's Breeders' Cup Long Jean Distaff. Going to mile in the eight for a cool two million. And this race may be uh, the shortest field of all 14 Breeders' Cup races over Friday and Saturday, uh, the distaff. Before we dial in, I want to give a shout out to Shaheen, who is our graphics person. Uh, wonderful, wonderful job he does with our thumbnails. I know you folks have seen him out there. And uh, he is a, a excellent young man at putting these things together. So shout out to Mr. Shaheen. As always, please support us by uh, subscribing, of course. And any donations that you give us goes right back into this studio for things like our thumbnails, our graphics, our data sets to analyze these races each and every week. And as always, you can buy the Speed King of Coffee. Those donations as well go right back into the channel. So please, call to action. Please support us any and each way you can. That way we can stay on the air, folks, and um, keep bringing you these uh, races. So, the Long Jean Distaff. Uh, we usually do a top ten, but it's only five, and you know the top three. I mean, it's going to be very, very hard to get around them. So, we have a five and a five A. You know, it's really six and a five and a half, six. And we thought this horse was worth mentioning. We're going to start at the uh, number five and work our way to the top horse. The five A is a horse named As Time Goes By by American Pharaoh out of a uh, mayor called Take Charge Lady. She needs no introduction. Who is by the hair, right? So as time goes by is bred tremendously well. I thought she was worth mentioning here as 5A. Um, Bob Baffert is the trainer of record. We all know that the Breeders' Cup management is looking to see if Bob can participate in this year's Breeders' Cup. But that has nothing to do with the horse. Uh, I think she deserves to be mentioned as time goes by. A Kentucky bred, like I said, by American Barrel. Has nine starts, four wins, two seconds, and one third. 400,000, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, Michael Tabor and them are, are the uh, owners, and Derek Smith, you know the clan. Uh, very important in the industry, those owners. And as time goes by, one, the Santa Anita, the Santa Maria stakes back there on the 22nd of May at Santa Anita. The speed figure was phenomenal. It was her best race ever. And she won the race before that to Santa Margarita on the, fourth, on the 24th of April at Santa Anita. And the speed figures are comparable. Um, she kind of tailed off in her next two races in the Clemente Hearst uh, stakes, running behind some of the ones that are in here. She ran fourth. And in the personal instant, which she had no chance in, she ran sixth. So her best races are three back. Uh, I like horses that are not coming off the top, uh, particularly Phillies, because Philly have a tendency to bounce big off the top, you know. And as time goes by, I just thought uh, was worth mentioning. Like I said, she did finish sixth in the personal incident, and we all know that Latruska won that race hands down. Um, but just as a mention, a courtesy mention, we mentioned as time goes by, trained by the Hall of Famer and the most money-making trainer in the Breeders' Cup in terms of money, Bob Afford. So there's our 5A, right? We got her out the way. We gave her an honorable mention. Our real number five horse is Blue Stripe. Well, here is the most interesting horse of our top five, if you ask me. Blue Stripe is an Argentinian bred. Listen to this. By equal, stri by equal uh, stripes, out of a mare called Blue for Sales. Blues for Sales, an Argentinian. Now listen, in the 2019 Breeder Cup, an Argentinian horse won this race called Blue Prize. Guess who her dam was? The same dam as Blue Stripe. 
blues for sales. Go look it up. In 2019, an Argentinian won the race, Argentinian bred, called Blue Prize. Now, I did the research, and this blue stripe horse that we're talking about, that's number five contender on our list, is by equal strikes out of that mare, Blues for Sales, who is the same mayor dam for the 2019 distaff winner blue prize argentina go check it out i just thought that was interesting this horse blue stripes our fifth contender has six starts four wins and two thirds i went and looked at it took me time to find the videos but i went and looked at all of her races and it's not bad so she is our number five. So you guys go do your work, you guys and gals. Miss Nancy, we're doing this distaff for you, you know, as we did the sprint. Go look up this blue stripe horse and look at the dam, Blues for Sale. And go and look at the, 2020, the 2019 winner, Blue Prize, and see that is out of the same dam. We don't want them to sneak us here. But let's pay attention. They're bringing these horses on over here, targeting these races. And they're using the same bloodline. I mean, again, that's what we do as handicappers. We kind of solve the puzzle. So the number five is the Argentina bred uh, by Blue Stripe. We know that the Argentina has won this race in 2019 called Blue Prize. It's the same dam as Blue Prize as the same dam as Blue Stripe. Okay? We'll be paying attention, particularly on the tote board, to see what's going on. Um, our number four contender is Maracucha. Well, Maracucha, we all know who Maracucha is. By honor code, bred like all get out. Seven starts, two wins, two seconds, and one third. Lightly, lightly raised Maracucha. Um, trained by Atris, uh, Rob Atris. Um, really, really light. Has one really good race to her credit. And that's the only one. Which is two back, July 24th, speed figure is phenomenal, in the coaching club American Oaks, down there, up there at Saratoga. And won the race handily. Came back one month later, maybe 27 days later in the Alabama, and ran seven. That's where the off race comes in, right? These fillies bounce big. So uh, we thought Maracucha did deserve to be fourth on our list. Uh, Jess, you don't win the coaching club American Oaks by luck. I mean, obviously she's talented. Uh, she hadn't won a race uh, before then other than her maiden race. She only has two wins to her credit. credit. Maracucha, the maiden special race. Back there at Aquadot in February 21st. Came back in the Gazelle Stakes and ran second. Went into the Kentucky Oaks uh, in April and ran seventh. And then she won the coaching club, American Oaks, to everybody's surprise. And ran a tremendous speed figure. Came back and bounced in the Alabama. So Maricucha, I thought, deserved to be at least on the list because of that American, um, the club American Oaks stakes at Saratoga. That's number four, Maracucha. Well, number three. This is where the trouble begins. The top three distaffers, mayors, and fillies, we all know them. I mean, it's going to take somebody very, very exceptional to get around these top three horses. And our number three contender is She Dares the Devil. That's right. She's by Daredevil. And out of a mayor, starship, uh, War Speed, who's by Congrats. Congrats was a very, very nice sire and racehorse. But she dares the devil needs no introduction by the Speed King. I mean, this year alone, she's got five starts, four wins, and one third. That's what I said. I said this year alone, she has five starts, four wins, and one third. Trained by, that's right, the untouchable barn of Brad Cox. So she dares the devil, needless to say, is a merry horse. Brad Cox and all his big head horses. 
none more famous than Mono Moore Girl, who, by the way, won the distaff twice, which I believe I voted for her to be Horse of the Year, not authentic. She won it in 2020 and in 2018. After taking a year off in the middle, in 2019, obviously, where Blue Prize, we talked about, won it, the Argentina bread. So she dares the devil, don't need no introduction again. She's had 16 lifetime starts, 9 wins, 2 seconds, and 4 thirds for a cool 2.2 million shackles. Trained by Brad and all his merry horses. I mean, I love the race that she ran in the Azari Stakes, She Dares the Devil, in March 13th at Oakland. That speed figure is awesome. If she runs that race, she's going to give our top contender a whole lot of trouble. That's in March. The Azari Stakes is just beautiful. Came back in Churchill on 430 uh, and ran first in the grade one race, the twin spiral race, uh, the, troop, the, the Troskin Stakes, in the Ogan Phillips Stakes on June 5th, she ran third, speed figures are okay. And I don't know if this is Brad just doing enough to get the horse set up, but her last two starts, uh, the one August 1st in the Clemente L. Hurst Stakes, she won the race, but the speed figure is light. Maybe he just did enough. And in Churchill, to offer that August 1st, September 18th, six weeks later, the Locust Grove Stakes, she won again, and the speed figure got a little bit better. I like to bet Phillies and mares off of not their top race, because Phillies bounce, to me, more readily than Colts if they're not given enough time in between races. And... The thing that scares, that's scary about She Dares the Devil is that her best races is three back, four back, and she won the last two races, so I don't know how that's worked. Maybe Brad didn't have her cranked up. But I tell you now, you can't go in knocking She Dares the Devil. I mean, anybody that's got 16 starts and nine of them are wins, that's 50%, north of 50%. Okay? I mean, I don't know how you knock her. Last two races, speed figures are subpar, but I see it back there in his airy stakes. She run that race, she'll give Latruska and that old big head uh, Malafot horse some trouble. So our number three contender won the race. I wanted to move her up. She dares the devil. I wanted to move her up. But uh, the last two races were, were a little light speed figure-wise. But I know Brad. Brad knows what he's doing in the untouchable barn. With all his merry horses. None being bigger than Monomore Girl and the two-year-old Big Head Champ. Essential quality. And that Big Head horse named Nick's Go. But she there as a devil is a nice, nice... <laughs> this is a nice filthy man. Four-year-old. This horse got some future. And uh, is number three on our distaff. And if we get the right price, she'll be on my ticket. Brad and all his merry, merry horses. Well, the number two, how could you not put her second? I'm no big Todd Pletcher fan, but I'm fair. Malathot. I mean, Todd Pletcher is who he is. He has some beautiful suits. And boy, he's always classy. I like that about him. He is a Hall of Famer. He wins a bunch of races. And Malathot, he has done a wonderful, wonderful job with him. I got to give it to Todd. He's done a wonderful, wonderful job with this curl in Philly. Only three, year old, three years old. That may be a tall order. Not that she's not talented enough, but maybe she's not mature enough to handle the likes of the four-year-old she dares the devil. And, of course, the number one, you know, is um, Latruska. But nobody can go into this race and say, I, like, I don't like Malathot. 
I mean, you, you can't not like her. Why? Well, she's got seven starts and six of them are wins. And the, and the one that she didn't win, she ran second. And guess where that was? In the coaching club, Oaks. That's right. That's right. That's where Mara Kucha won the race. You know, so the only time that she's ever ran second... Was in the coach when, when Maracucha beat her, but she said, That's all right, I'll come back into Alabama and win the race. Malathot, and she stomped Maracucha, who ran seventh that day. Speed figure is horrible. And Malathot's speed figure is the exact same as coaching Club Oaks, right? So Mar uh, Maracucha, to be honest, shouldn't be on the same racetrack as Malathot. That's a fact. But, but I mean, but I mean, Todd, man, you know, I mean, I'll wave his flag off them, but I gotta give him this. He's taking his time. Johnny V is up. Horses by Curlin. One of my favorite horses and sires. Of course, we think Curlin should have won the Derby as well as Gunrunner. Trained by, yeah, I know. My God. On the back end, out of a mare called Dreaming of Julie, who's a by AP Indy, who was a triple crown winner in all in itself. I believe so. So Malathot needs no introduction for 1.3 million shackles. I don't know if they're going to wait off of the August 21st Alabama and then just, you know, wait to run her in the Breeders' Cup, you know. That's what I would do. If there's one knock, and man, it's about this big to knock. Small. That I have on Maracucha, uh, on Maracucha, on Malathot. If there was one knock, and it ain't much of a knock, it's like a, a little ping. Is that she's a three-year-old with only seven starts. And these big head horses, like she dares the devil. She dares the devil has 16 starts and been tangling and she dares the devil's a four-year-old. You know, you gotta be you gotta be grown up to be hanging out with she dares the devil. And I ain't even gonna mention Latruska yet. So if there was one little knock that I have against Malathot, and it ain't big, it ain't really a knock. It's more like a pluck. Is that she's a three-year-old lightly raised. But she's never done anything wrong. She is excellent. Now her speed figures are cut below our number one pick. And everybody knows who that is. It ain't like y'all sitting there as a cliffhanger waiting for me to give you the number one contender in the distaff. I have an opinion about her. But number two, Malathod is our number two contender in the distaff. And wonderful, wonderful job, Todd, and his connection. Uh, very, very nice horse, obviously, Malathod. Smack Maracucha around in the Alabama. Well, the number one horse needs no introduction. I've never seen a horse dominate like this, Latruska. I had it this year. The only horse I've ever seen dominate like this this year is domestic spending. I mean, different circumstance, different surface. But what do you say about Latruska? Latruska trained by Gruteri and Irad's up this year. Six starts, five wins, one second. Lifetime career starts, 21 starts, 16 wins. That's right. That's 75%. That's kind of freaky. So she needs no introduction. Speed figures are a tick or two above uh, Malathot. Uh, Latruska is a five-year-old. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if Malathot want to hang out with this big, strong, engine-running Latruska. I mean, a three-year-old and a five-year-old that this talented, that's a big ask. I mean, she's fully, uh, you know, she's a mare. She's already established... An effective level, that's what we call it. See, when you're at two and three and four, you're developing. Well, Latruska ain't developing nothing. She's Michael Jordan. She That's what she do. This is what she does. 
She has an effective level. This is what I do. This is how I do it each and every time. This is my level.